What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do a full review on a GBOS GL15. And I keep promising you guys I'm gonna do a full review, none bias, GBOS GL15. So this is the GBOS GL15 um, electric recoil right, training rifle. Not just gonna throw out a couple of information that you're probably gonna see already is the gun base gun gonna cost $1,700 if you're gonna buy from GBOS you're probably gonna pay tax so you better off buying from Evite and Evite right now the GBOS GL15 Gen 1 production model is on sale for 14 for the uh, carbine version and 1500 for the CQB version. The gun came with the Sentrus arm of uh, 12 inch and a half. The gun does came with the um, PTS crane stock and a PTS grip. The grip feel like the Magpul MOE grip. So it's, it's feel comfortable enough. It's not like a normal A2 shitty stock M4 grip. Yo, oh, yeah. With the gun, you only get one mag. One mag that holds 60 round. Six zero BBs. 60 BBs. I bought this gun back in 2017, spring 2017, after I meet with Ninja Soju. I saw him on a field, I saw the gun, and um, quite interesting, and I've been looking, you know, at the GBS GL15 for a while, I've seen the production type from the, um, uh, I thought I saw from Matt Musketeer, I saw it from Brain Explorer, uh, Founder Edition, and Greg Wong video so I kind of want one so I, I want to before I buy one I want to see the gun perform and you know how's handling it's probably it's handling just like an M4 but you know you know what I mean like I want to feel the recoil is the recoil gonna be like a generic gimmicky EBB recoil or, or the gun gonna be a little bit different so I bought this back in spring 2017 and I bought the carbine version which is the uh, 14 and a half inch out of barrel that came with the uh, Centurion's arm uh, slim uh, rail uh, the grip is stock the, the crane stock is stock so I didn't change anything all I did to do no all I did to the gun is to paint over and change out the handguard for the uh, Gasly rail uh, Mark IV. That, that's how I want it. I want a block tool, but apparently a lot of people have block tool, so I want a something resembling to a block tool, but not a block tool. The scope that I have on is the EOTech, real EOTech EXP3 with one MOA dot. Um, there's a rumor going around the uh, interweb that the uh, GBLS GL15 vibration will ruin your normal airsoft scope kind of thing. So it, it will not hold zero after you're shooting, you know, full auto consistently. But what I found is is actually not really true. If you shoot it on semi only, if you kind of hold the full auto, you know, trigger, if you use full auto a lot, it's probably it's probably true, you know, with the uh, the vibration of the gun, kind of ruins the SR scope. But if you shoot on the semi, I think it's fine. It's just like a normal Daytona or gas blow back rifle. It's not gonna do any harm to it, but. If you consistently shooting it in full auto, it's definitely gonna ruin your scope. The, the front, I usually have a camera on front, but this time I kind of set it up for the battle of a Vipo from M Sado earlier this year. So I have the D-Bow on so I can play at night, uh, you know, in Humvee. Sitting in Humvee, there's nothing to do. So, you know, this gun is, you know, the only pride and joy. Also, the shit is cold as fuck. Uh, you know, playing at night, 
and I forgot to bring my um, my jacket. So I, me and my buddy was cuddling. It was pretty fucking cold. The GBRS GR15 recommend for 11. 11.1 volt battery from Titan um, to power the gun. You could use any 11.1 volt battery. 7.4 will not work because 7.4 doesn't have enough power to, you know, for the motor to pull back the bow carrier group. Also, talk about the bow carrier group. The bow carrier group is just like a normal gas bow bag. Real AR bow carrier group. So you got a whole unit and instead of uh, instead of just a gearbox and the piston, the heavy piston going back and forth. This actually you have a real bow carrier group. I'm gonna pop the uh, BCG from my Tokyo Marui gas bow back rifle and compare it to you. There we go. So here's the uh, Tokyo Marui bolt, and this is the GBS GR15 bolt. The GBS G, uh, GR15 bolt is more realistic than the um, Tokyo Marui one. I think I got a scratch on my Tokyo Marui one. Eh, it's fine. I'm probably gonna replace it later. The recoil and the vibration that you got from this gun is from the weight of the bow carrier. I saw a couple people on the uh, GBS GR15 owner group that make this gun like go crazy on the recoil. Um, technically, they just put a super heavier spring in there. Now, in the uh, buffer tube. Ow, 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 ow. All right. Alright, so on the GBS GR15 group, I saw a couple of people putting in the um, heavier spring so you can have heavier recoil slash vibration. So I, I don't know. I like the, the, the way how it shoots, and according to GBS GR15, um, if you do any internal modification to the gun, you will get your warranty void. Typical airsoft, you know, warranty from any of the company. And um, GBS does provide a lifetime, more, almost a lifetime warranty to the gun. So if for some reason your gun broke, it doesn't function well, send it back to GBS GR15 representative seller of your country, you know. For some, you in UK, there's one in UK, and there's one in the US, which is located in New York. So, I'm gonna talk the spec on the gear. The spec on the gear is it using the PTS grip, style AG motor grip. The buffer tube is a mil spec buffer tube, but you cannot change it out because there's wiring going from the lower self to underneath the buffer tube and to the uh, to the stock itself so it's not you can change out for the Magpul CTR stock but you need to uh, modify the extended pad so you can put in an 11.1 volt 100 me uh, 1000 mah batteries in there but I this gun uses a lot of power so I, I just keep it the way it is I didn't touch anything uh, the only thing that I modify, uh, modify my lower is I put in a Magpul uh, lever assist in there so I can help me with my uh, faster reload. The reason I put it in here so I can reload faster, so basically all I need to do is pop it, take the max out, or maybe just dump the max on the ground, put a fresh max in there, in Instead of using the other hand to push the uh, bow catch to send bow forward, I just swiftly with one motion put the gun forward and slam my trigger finger down to send the bow home. Pretend that I'm in a um, shooting scenario, right? So I'm gonna shoot. fire, firing, 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 click, empty. 
look at the map look at the um, you know inspect my chamber I usually just pop the max out you know just to uh, like a, 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 a quick change kind of thing but sometimes I just um, you know shut away my gun press the max release put in put the max back in my play carrier by the way the max is $40 it's durable I dropped so many times um, the problem is I don't want to do a quick like you know a quick change Mac reload because sometimes you are playing a wood or maybe some you know dense tree area I don't want to lose my $40 Mac so usually if I'm not in a hurry I'm just gonna you know lock it back take the Mac out Put it back in my play here. Grab another one now. Put it in there. With one motion. Ready to shoulder ring my guns. Ready to shoulder my guns again. I press the ball release and get back to the fight. The upper is a different story. Okay. The, the upper of the gun is... The, uh, the threat, the uh, barrel nut threat on the upper is AEG spread, um, AEG spec. So you can use any AEG style um, rail system for it. But if you want to use a BCM or a Gatsby rail, GBS, GR15, uh, GBS does uh, offer you the AEG spec barrel nut for it. The Gatsby Rail Barrel Nut is $50 and the BCM Barrel Nut is $30 um, if you buy it from GVOS. Um, what else? What else? Um, the hop up unit is WA GMP, you know, WA mean Western Arm uh, or GMP, WAC, WOC. Pop up unit. Uh, let me. Yeah. So here it is. This is it. So it uses a WA system pop up unit. You could use your own pop up unit. If not, you can buy the CNC machine one from GBS itself. They do often upgrade it um, or replacement part if you need it. Uh, the a the inner barrel is an AEG inner barrel. The bucking is AEG. The gun itself shooting pretty great. So unless you want to hop it, be my guest. I hop mine and I'm using three six and it reaching people around two hundred feet, two hundred two two hundred feet or two hundred and thirty feet effectively. Uh, the gun starts shooting around. 350, 360 FPS with 0.2 OBBs. Um, the the spring, the spring guy, the piston, and the nozzle is GBS proprietary, so you cannot replace uh, replace those those parts. But good news, uh, you can probably can change out for the AEG spring if you choose to. Um, the GBS GR15 is a little bit shorter than normal AG spring, and they are uh, M130 spring already. You know, high FPS. I recommend you putting in like an M150 spring in there, but it will wear wear out the um, the sear in the uh, lower receiver, and probably gonna break it at some point. The bolt release is a little bit bigger than the real AR style bolt release. So if you want to put in the Maple um, bolt assist lever, you need to modify the Mac assist lever, not the bolt itself. Oh yeah, um, another thing. Uh, if you want to put in a uh, Mac bolt, bolt release assist lever, all you need to do is shave out the inside of the metal assist lever so it will fit in the um, 
both the stock both release from GBLS um, if you plan on buying it and just you know thinking it's, it is a drop in it, it is not a drop in you, you need to shave the lever just a little bit the gun is, is really expensive like really 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 expensive um, $1,700 is when I bought mine and I only came with one single mag I, I bought like two out of set so I was bring up to 22, 22 is a thousand um, so I got 11 mag in total on top of that I need to pay taxes it's fun but it is expensive but you can expect if you want to drive a BMW, you're going to pay a BMW price anyway. Um, limited option to upgrade the lower and the internal part for this gun because the gearbox, the motor is proprietary. The, you cannot change out for a different stock because it is where the wiring is running at. So you can change. You cannot change it. Um, but you can change any kind of real steel, airsoft style, you know, retractable stock. Uh, the grip you can change it out too, so it's a plus. Uh, if you don't like the um, PTS grip and you want to go back to the uh, lame ass A2 grip, you can do that. Um, the motor is look like the normal AEG long type M4 motor motor but it have a longer shaft so in case that you can you could buy the uh, GNP Devil M170 motor and replace the shaft and it's probably will work with this gun again like I said before the internal is proprietary the internal is proprietary the upgrade the bulk care group is proprietary uh, the spec is not normal any gas blowback spec, it is GBS spec itself Except for accessory outside, like outside the gun You can probably replace it, but from the inside you can't do check Alright, lesson to be learned Not because the outer barrel is comparable with the GMP WA Outer barrel, but oh yeah, I forgot to mention the outer barrel is a GNP WA walk outer barrel compatible. So you could replace it if you buy a 14 and a half, um, you know, barrel just like me, and you want to change it to a 10.3 inch outer barrel or an SBR 12 inch and a half, you could do so. Um, not because the outer barrel and the hop up unit is comparable it doesn't mean the upper is comparable i bought this gmp um upper plane wa gmp walk upper it does not comparable with the gun at all because the cut on a gmp and a gbs is different which you can see right there. Right. The GBS, they cut it off like this whole section right here, and the GNP, they, you know, they didn't do it. So save yourself some money. Don't be a dumbass like me and buy another upper. And I, I waste like fifty bucks on these. So yeah, that is the lesson to be learned. Um, in case that you want another upper, the only place that you can get it is from GBS. GBS themselves, uh, they do offer you a plain upper without a bulk carrier group and a rail uh, for five hundred dollar. So if you want another upper for your GBS GR15, you can do so, and they do come with the. Hop up unit, the barrel, and the bucking. All you need to do is put in a bow carrier and the rail. Another um, gripe that I have for this gun is this gun 
sometimes not that accuracy. I'm gonna define it. Uh, because of the vibration, the hop up unit screw on the Delta UA Cisco will come loose in time. So the only way you could fix it is to put a little bit of electrical tape or Teflon tape around the screw so it creates friction when you adjust it. So, you know, if there's vibration to the gun, the screw not gonna be so easy to get out. And you probably gonna have more con in, like consistent shot. Um, Sometimes if I have this gun out for a whole day, the screw came out, kind of came up and turn my hub up all the way up even though I'm shooting 2.6. But if you adjust it again, it's shooting accurate as hell. And it's fun to shoot the gun. Um, all right, what is the other gripe? The other gripe is Mac. The Mac is proprietary. Uh, proprietary. You cannot use any other Mac. So here I have here is the uh, Tokyo Maroli recoil shock. Does it fit? Gas gun. Tokyo Maroli. MWS and full max. No, this is good. Lastly, AEG Mac. Oh shit. It's fit. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It fit, but it will not work with the gun because the Fitting lips on the GBS is a, G, a gas blowback type fitting lip. AEG EPM PTS EPM mag is a little bit shorter, sit a little bit lower than the um, GBS GL15 magazine when you insert it into the gun. So, yeah, again, there's only one. Type of mag you're gonna use with this gun is the GBS GL15. I saw people converted this mag into P mag, but I mean you already wait you, you already put in forty dollar into the mag and you're gonna drop additional twenty bucks if you buy the use P mag ten bucks to and put time and work in there to convert it to to a P mag. No thanks. I'm just gonna stick with my um, normal stand mag mag. And also this mag is not that heavy compared to the gas gun. I wanna say it is a it is a little bit lighter than the Tokyo Maroli um, EBB mag, but it's a little bit heavier than the normal AEG mag. Alright, so the mag is out of the way. The hop up is out of the way, the sight is out of the way, the uh, upward compatibility is out of the way, the rail is out of the way, the gas bolt is out of the way, the, uh, the uh, compatibility is out of the way, so all we need to do is shoot the damn gun. Alright, so to insert the, man, the battery pop, the, uh, the back plate from the crane stock. Take it out. Oh yeah, there's a fuse in the back. So in case if your if your gun doesn't work, check for the fuse. Right here. Oh. Right here. Alright. Put it in. Alright, we're gonna sand it. Alright, I'm pointing at the safe direction, which is my cousin room. It's not here, so we can show it. So, the initial charge, basically the initial cock of the, the bow carrier is heavy because um, you need to cock the piston back in order for the gun to function. Without cocking the initial round the gun will not shoot at all so what we need to do is cock it back release it and the gun is ready to go with the battery inside 
uh, I mean both locked back in the last round uh, the last BB of the gun so a feature of the gun so basically shoot 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 the gun cock back empty nothing in there check it lock it back put new max in there put a ball release go back to the fight the pro the gun the recoil is freaking awesome I have a Daytona gun A Tokyo Marui. Oh wait. A Tokyo Marui gas blowback rifle. Uh Tokyo Marui Rico shot. This gun beat all of them. Alright, let me know. Let let me tell you why. This gun, the recoil is about the Daytona recoil, but without the hose, without the tanks, without these, like a normal HPA gun. So, it's kick heavier than any of the gas blowback rifle that I use and own, except for the W.E. Thompson. The W. Thompson recoil is insane. You know what? Let me check it out. Alright. Alright. So this is a WA Thompson. The only gun I think is have a the uh, the recoil the same as the GVS is this gun right here. Alright, I'm gonna put it in full auto to demonstrate. Oh yeah, there's no BBs in the magazine. I dry fire on this gun. So, safe direction. I'm gonna send it. Yep, safe. GBS, you got 15. Yep, so that's it. The recoil is fun as hell. You can do training with this rifle. Um, compare like better compared to the um, to, um, Suscama PTW because you can spam the trigger on a Suscama PTW a lot like a normal AG one with a MOSFET. So it's, so it's not that realistic comparing to this gun. So the realistic is up there. Um, you can put on any kind of rail that you can put like put on here. So I, I've been in love with the Gasly rail for so long, but they didn't make any SR AG rail. So I can put on my normal VFC, um, you know, gun. But th this one I can put it on, and this kind of justify for the gun because I paid seventeen hundred. For the gun, why don't we put in another like 180 bucks for the rail? By the way, I bought my uh, Gazi rail back in 2018, 2017, I think. Late 2017, early 2018. I bought this rail for some reason. The rail, the uh, Mark 4 rail was on for like $170. Um, the initially, the the whole gun was black, but I painted it, and I even painted the logo too. Pretty cool. Now I'm kind of making it unique. This is my gun. So, um, range, precision, consistency. Um, you can use your own preferred setup for this gun. So the AEG, any AEG compatible in a barrel buck game that you love, you can transfer into this gun. And this gun is commercial. Um, the magazine is a spring-loaded magazine. It's not like gas mag magazine. So basically, you have a recoil of a gas blowback magazine cooldown problem of a gas mag and joyless 
weak recoil of a AEG. So this is kind of like a hybrid between those two. And this kick more and the trigger is instant compared to most are uh, like most of the uh, recoil gun or any of the uh, you know EBB fake EBB um, recoil. I do have the um, LCT uh, EBB gearbox and the thing does recoil. It's kind of like gimmick. This gun is for immersive training kind of built for a niche market in the SL uh, uh, you know community so not you're not gonna see many people rocking and playing with this gun it's a niche group of people will love this gun and the other rest kind of thing of you know this gun is way too overpriced it's not that fun you're just paying too much money for it but some people that that's what happened with the uh, subscriber one some people don't like it they rather pay like 1200 for an umbrella armory gun you know but without all the bulk cash and all the other function all they want to do is they're going to shoot super fast and consistency and the other half is like yeah we love the ptw we love the gas rollback gun we love the dash gun because this gun bring the game to another level of realism so that is why i bought a gun uh buying another upper is just a waste of money i i, I don't know why i decided to buy a cqb upper i i think back in the day i prefer a cqb barrel um but in time i kind of grew in love with the 14 and a half um carbine length rifle so yeah so this is how i set up my gun uh comment down below if you guys want to ask more questions about a gun and um uh, i'm probably gonna put up a range test when i go to one of my friend um house like you know up there in the wood so i can use their you know backyard to test on the range um so in the end is it worth it yes and no how would i rate it i'm gonna give this gun a solid 8 out of 10. uh the reason why i said it is worth it and on the same time it's not worth it is the price the price is too much for most of the average as software player to buy it and acquire it and have fun with it um i got one of my friend he's really into realism to the game but this this gun he loved this gun a lot when i give it to him to play with it. but it turned it down turn him down turn him off and do not want a gun no more because the gun is seventeen hundred dollar and the max like forty dollars. So if some in the future GBS can bring the you know bring the price down to compete with PT uh, PTW and Umbrella Armory gun, I think GBS can and will be a pioneer in this platform because this gun is awesome and this I. They have a lot of time of, you know, you know, tweaking with a gun and this is how it's turned out. And this is their first product from GBS. They've been working since 2009, developing this gun, and, um, if I'm not wrong. So if you guys know about more about the uh, company story, let me know down below. Um, yes, this gun was in development back in 2009 and this is their first 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 baby and they did a pretty good job on it the only thing is i kind of understand about the price being too high because they want to pay back for the research and development you know phase when you know they cannot sell any gun so they kind of want to you know make it back and it's right now people kind of lean toward you know, umbrella armory gun because they're gonna shoot great, you know, far range, consistently see the, the speed of the gun. And usually people think about training rifle, they think of PTW. And not many people know about this gun. 
that much. So I, yeah. So if you're looking for a gun that you want to train and have, and can actually have fun and not worrying about the tank, the hose, the mag pull down, the recoil, this gun is the gun that you should buy. If they can bring the price down to 1500 or 1300 dollar, I think GBS is gold places. This gun. This is all. That's my unbiased um, opinion of the gun. It, it, they don't pay me anything. I have this gun for a while. I've been playing with it. I love it. Um, and most of my friends I who use this gun freaking love this gun because of the recoil. So um, let me down in the comment section below how you guys think about this gun. Uh, if you have any uh, tech questions, regardless. This gun, I'm, I'm an amateur. Uh, I'm an amateur stack to the gun, so I can probably can you know answer a couple of questions, but not too crazy about. It. So, all right. So this is gonna be my long-awaited GBS GL15 review, and hope you guys like it. Um, I'm sure having a great time with this gun, and if you found my review to be useful and you can actually trust me uh, and trust my opinion on how I feel about a gun and decide to purchase one thank you and uh, you know I appreciate your you know you value my opinion so stay around for more video I have a PT uh, an MP7, Tokemo MP7 review, the uh, Elite Force MP7 review, and the KWA um, MP7 review comparison, and the Polar Star Bingo Airsoft MP7 review coming up really soon. Um, so stick around for that, and um, you will see any gun in this room that you want me to do a review on. Um, comment down in the section you know, below, like, subscribe, share maybe if you guys you know, really want to support me, thumbs up for that. Um, yeah, so do you want to see more gun, do you want to see loadout video, uh, do you want to see like better gameplay, let me know, I'm going to try to improve it. I'm, my goal for this year to you know, giving more content, so like more useful content, not just gameplay video. Um, I try to get my channel to a thousand subscriber, so that's kind of my goal in a couple months. So I hope you guys can help me achieve it, and I will much appreciate it. Alright, thank you. Have a good day.